So now we are at Salisbury Cathedral. And first of all, thank you very much for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you have subscribed, thank you so very much. It's greatly appreciated. And if you happen, and you'd happen to like, to make an old man quite happy, well, go for it and subscribe. And I will be genuinely quite happy. Right, there we are. The adverts are done. Let's move on. Um, this was built, I heard, in 1220. And it uh, was completed in 1238. And the tower was not on it originally. We'll have a look at a plaque later to see where the... Um, tower when the tower was added and who by some bishop somebody or other and we'll have a look at that but this is where we've come in now your ticket that you pay lasts a year so we've come in on a ticket from last August so that's uh, so if you buy a ticket it might seem expensive but you can come back again now I don't know what this is a lovely model. It's the building of the cathedral, I think. Something like that. <laughs> Fabulous model. Look at this. All the people on the roof. Lock and tackle. There's the wheel there that lifts up the stone. Fabulous. And here's obviously an old clock mechanism. Oh, and they've got it rigged up so that it There it goes, round and round. There's a lot of old flags of war. I'm not over interested in those, I have to be honest. People spending time killing each other is not really my forte. But uh, sadly, on odd occasions, and I mean odd occasions, in my humble opinion, it's necessary regarding a certain person in the last world war now there is some fabulous look at this fountain perfectly balanced and so you can see the roof there are you've got a lovely picture there Now, I'm going to go down here. Oh, there's an icon over there. He's a bit smart, isn't it? Um, I'm going to show you, apparently, when they put the tower on here, there was a problem. The columns bowed a bit, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. I could notice that the guy pointed it out to us just now, and as a result, they had to put in two extra arches which weren't there originally and a lot of buttressing in in the sides now we'll have a, a look at it now i don't know if you can see it is a bit difficult to see but it is possible if you stand under here you can see that they they go sort of over to the left and consequently what they had to do, because it happened over there as well, if you look in the windows there, two windows, they had to uh, they had to put in buttressing. Under they took the glass out and put buttressing in, and then they put this arch in, this piece in here, and this side, to steady it 
because it was looking like it was going to fall over. So they bent and they put up that too. So this is not there from original, that was put up. These two arches were put up and this one, this side too, were put up to strengthen it. And you can see the buttresses through those holes on the side there. They weren't there originally. They're there to hold up uh, the massive tower. Now, the windows are beautiful. Those are fairly, well, I bet they're not basic, but I'm inclined to say fairly basic. Um, there's no pictures in them as such, just lots of colour. Now, we've got over here a weather vane from probably ancient times. It will tell us when. 1762, 14th century iron cross encased in 18th century copper. Removed in never been up the top of the tower it might be nice to book in one day and have a, a look up there I think we'll go up through the choir we'll have to start again for that I think because we're coming to the end oh here's the empty tomb lovely thought to end on. Let's look back down the church as it finishes and to saying thank you for watching. We'll have a look and look up at this fabulous ceiling. Look at that. Thank you for watching.